In scenario 2, we'll demonstrate ArcSight's log collection and parsing capabilities. ArcSight is the inventor of the common event format. To this day, our competitions still enjoy the benefits of Ceph parsing. Where a parser does not already exist, two options are available. For simple logs, we have the ArcSight Flex Agent wizard. For the more advanced logs, we provide the Quick Flex wizard. Let's demo the first option, the Flex Agent wizard, first. The log file we'll be parsing comes from a fictitious checkpoint AWS CloudGuard sample. Each event is a single line, and they pretty much match the same pattern. The events are delimited by a comma, starting with the IP address of the device, followed by the date, and so on. We open up the Flex Agent wizard and select the log file before giving a friendly name to the project. Here, the solution makes a first guess as to which delimiter to use, in this case, the comma was selected, which is correct. Other fields are also correct. Next, we map the fields from the sample file to the corresponding Ceph schema fields. On the top left, we see 10.1.1.1, which is the device address. Next is date and time, which map to the device receipt time. I'll quickly do the rest here. Next comes the date time format selection screen. Finally, we specify how ArcSight should name this log source. And that's it. I can now deploy this file to multiple smart connectors simultaneously through ArcMC, which we'll demo in scenario number 3. Now, let's demo the second option, the ArcSight QuickFlex. Here we have a sample log file from Aruba, which looks a bit more complex, but no problem. Let's start the wizard. We fill in the initial details, like the friendly name for this log source, sample log file, etc. In the second screen, we can quickly browse the log file to focus on the specific events to pass. We start by selecting the third line, as that's the most common format. Our ultimate goal is to tokenize these fields correctly. The QuickFlex wizard's built-in regex engine already made a guess and auto-populated the base regex section. We now accept these results by clicking the Tokenize button. I do some final touch-ups to the four auto-generated tokens. Next, we do the mapping of these tokens to ArcSight Ceph schema fields. Finally, I save the base regex. Now we're back at our sample log file. Observe what happens when I click Refresh. Yes, we have successfully passed these two events and can continue with further tokenization as required. However, this version already satisfies my business goals, so I generate the parser to start using it right away.